Hey, welcome. All right, so I'm going to show you how to get a hold of Browsio Lite and uh, how to install it and how to get you up and running within a couple of minutes. So if you don't have Browsio yet, just go to Google, type in Browsio Lite. It's going to be the first result. There you go. Make sure you've got the HTTPS Browsio and then Browsio Lite there. Make sure to also use the best email. We'll use Richard Keys and Richard Keys one eight six actually. Make sure you use the best one, otherwise you're not going to get updates and you won't know when the latest version is available. Also, when that comes up, definitely click that because we're also going to be sending great information via. Um, Via, via those notifications, and if you've got any questions in the future, here is how to reach us. Okay, so sign up. You'll automatically be sent through to the, the members area, automatically logged in. Click here. Here's your download page. Just click download. 6.5. That's the latest one, 3.6.5. And... That is downloaded. Okay. Run. Run, run, run. And when that pops up again, just click allow so that I could send you messages and that you're always up to date with everything that's going on over here. Now, there's a demo project we've added in which I think is really handy. It shows you exactly what a persona should be filled out like. And it gives you an idea. You can quickly delete that after you opened it for the first time and had a look. So let's open that up. And here is your demo persona. Double click, it'll open up. It's gonna open up without a proxy because it's just set up um, to use your your home proxy, right? So, so you can rename that and you can turn that into your own one or you can just delete it. I would just delete it and restart over. It's entirely up to you. It makes no difference. Re delete, rename. But the whole point is, is it's going to work because there's no proxy in there. Um, so um, we'll do a test. See, get that. To, there you go. And then right click if you want to just edit it out. But let's right click it anyway to take a look what's going on here. So the project name and we can open up another one so we can look at them side by side. OK. All right, so here is the information. You fill this out, and this is what the result is going to be, right? So the difference is, is there's a proxy here. You put your IP port, username and password. If you have username and passwords, preferably IP authenticate. It's just the best. It's the fastest, the smoothest. Um, and then fill out the rest of the information. It is going to be the persona for that project. So this project here that's opened up is the demo project. OK, I close that down. I'm going to open up another project, let's say. Type in one. We'll type in demo one. OK, and then that's all you really need to open a uh, another sort of partition within Browsio that's going to give you two separate um, personas. So we can click on that. Ah, I clicked on the wrong one. Demo one. And that's going to open up and then you're going to have and, and again, because we didn't add a proxy, they're both going to be on the same proxies. Um, and then because you have the light version, you can do this up to 10 times. Right. So you can have. Demo two. Obviously, you're going to be one filling them out like in the demo here. Like this. Right. So you're going to want to make sure everything's there. So when you go and sign up to Gmail, for example, you sign up to Facebook or wherever you sign up to. Um, you've got everything here that you use, the first name, last name, username, password. You can have notes there. You can just write, you know, password reminder is whatever it might be or whatever. Absolutely anything and anything you want to. Um, this doesn't really apply to you at all because this is for remote posting to WordPress. And that's part of Publish Hub. And you can click on that and learn about that. So hope that makes sense. Uh, hope you understand how to get started. Um, Going to end the video now, keeping it well under five minutes. And if you've got any other questions, um, just join the group. Talk to you soon.